Hey everyone, this is Tim. This is a warm, sunny day, and I can't think of a better way to enjoy the day than to explore the city. Thank you so much for joining, and uh, thank you so much for touring the city with me. Uh, hopefully, with the travel restrictions uh, being lifted, we can travel together in person. So I'm pretty excited because it's summertime, and in the summer, we have this thing called the Night Market Festival, where uh, you can find lots of uh, cell phone cases, some useful items and some not so useful items uh, and of course all the good food and I can't wait to give them a try but of course the night market is at night and this is the daytime and uh, we happen to be in this area called Richmond in Vancouver very nice place to visit it has one of the highest Asian populations around so you can see all the shops and all the stores have uh, Asian characters and it really feels like you're in Asia but also around here, they have the highest density of restaurants per area, and it's what's known as a Vancouver's Eat Street. So I can't wait to meet up with some friends. We'll try out some food before the night market opens, and then we'll try more food. So I hope you're hungry, and without further ado, let's go check out Vancouver's Eat Street. Uh, come on, let's go check it out. So going through Vancouver's Eat Street, we get lots of little nice restaurants and some big restaurants but it's usually the small hidden gems that are quite nice. So today I'm pretty excited. We'll meet up with some friends and Lily and Michael uh, at the Shellfish Shack with lots of nice seafood and lots of good friends and lots of good drinks. So uh, I think we're just approaching here and uh, let's take a look. And I see Christine and Isabella. Hey guys. Hi, how are you? <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, so let's see what we have. All right. Oh, a seafood tower. Oh, and paella and pasta. That looks really good. It's kind of hard to decide. Maybe we can get uh, Michael and uh, Lily to decide for us. Hey, Michael. So Hi. everything looks so good. We can't really decide what to order. Uh, any suggestions? I recommend the seafood tower. It contains the, our signature Dungeness crab, our uh, extra large prawns. We have the honey mussel. We have the manila clams. We have the uh, jade conch. I'll trust your, your judgment and uh, we're very hungry. So more the merrier. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. So this is our table empty, but I think it's going to be full of food. So I hope you're in the mood for some seafood. Oh my goodness. And we have one more, the crawfish party tray. Oh, Lily. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's more. What yeah, is this? Pickle fish skin. This is pickled fish skin. Yeah. Perfect timing, James. Well, I got to show up on time. <laughs> hey, Rishad, how are you? Good, so hungry. Perfect timing because we need as much people as we can. Awesome, awesome. This looks super good. I think I'm regretting this because remember when I said the table was empty? Well, look at it now. We've got the sweet prawns in wine and a cold seafood platter. These are oysters and Jonah crab, which is nice, they're cracked. And then this is seafood tower number one with the gigantic shrimp and then the deep fried crab. And then the other layer with the mussels and, and conch. And if there's seafood tower number one, that means there's seafood tower number two with crawfish and corn and potatoes. Oh, there's more, Michael. Oh my goodness. This is our cow special. Oh this my. This is the periwinkle. This is from Nova Scotia. Yeah. And this is the areola escargot. Oh my so goodness. Shellfish, shellfish, shellfish. All right. So I think we need to try something cold to start. Let's try the oysters. little bit of horseradish, nice cocktail sauce. Mm, cheers. Mm, nice and fresh and sweet. Mm, very good. What a good start. I can't wait to try the sweet prawns. Look at this, so translucent. Can't wait to give that a try. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Shrimp is nice and sweet and a little bit of hint of wine. Oh, very nice. All right, first few items, fantastic. And if you're here, 
definitely go for the drunken shrimp. Oh, not very alcoholic, but the nice hint of wine and the nice spice, really well balanced. And I think those giant prawns are calling out to me. Let's grab one, but carefully. Isabella, I might need some help in case everything falls over. Let's see, it's like a Jenga game. So this is pretty cool. It comes in a stick. Let's give that a try. Oh boy. So we'll give this a twist. Oh, look at that. Mm. Really crispy. Mm. The shrimp is nice and meaty and the shells are nice and crunchy, edible as well. Mm. Very good. Mm. Mm, very good. Oh, and Lily here with the wine. Thank you, Lily. All right, cheers. Mm. Oh, very nice. Nice and crisp and refreshing. Oh, and Michael, more. That looks like a giant bowl of uni. Take all the benefits of the uh, fresh food. How is it, Rishad? Really soft and creamy. Oh. Really good. Oh. oh. The one thing I haven't tried are the oh periwinkles. God. I'm going to give that a try next. Okay. So I think we're going to give this a try. Ooh, look at that. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, very flavorful. A little bit of spiciness, but very good. Thank goodness for the wine. Mm. Very nice. So really good food here at the Shellfish Shack. And uh, I think we're just gonna continue munching on these before heading off to the night market. Thank goodness we have lots of friends to help out. Uh, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Cheers. So it's been a while and I think we've uh, polished off quite a lot of food here. It looked like a lot, but it was so easy to finish. Everything was so good and it's seafood, so really light. Make sure you go for the drunken prawns. One of the most surprisingly tasty dishes here, uh, but really glad to have friends to help out. Oh, Michael and Lily, thank you for making us feel so welcome. Thank you for being here. Oh, this is, uh, I've never eaten so much before. It was fantastic. <laughs> oh, we're really glad to have you here. Oh. Yeah, we're really also really glad to have you enjoy our food. Oh, thank you. After all that food, we're going to go for more food, but maybe a little bit of shopping. So we are at the Vancouver Night Market Festival and uh, I can see it's getting pretty busy, but pretty excited to check it out. Let's see, let's go in. So we are at the night market. Uh, we're gonna get lots of cell phone cases and you're gonna get a, bu uh, a, a bug, fly zapper? a fly zapper. And uh, I think we're all here for the food as well. So uh, let's check it out. All right, so all the shops were great but uh, I think we're coming up to uh, what I'm really looking for. Let's take a look here. All right, so I know we've just eaten, but I think we're getting a little bit hungry. So let's go see what they have. Lots of people taking pictures of their food. I know how that feels like. Some shaved ice. Oh, wonderful dim sum. Maybe a little too warm. Barbecue King. Yeah. Good, how are you? Oh look at this. Three. Oh let's get let's get a couple of skewers. Yeah, sure. Chicken tikka? Yeah, okay. Alright, so this is my first dish of the day, some uh, chicken tiki. Alright, oh this is so good. What do you have there? Um, fried chicken bolo sando. I don't know, but it looks amazing. Yeah, there's so many to choose from. Yeah. Your hands are going to be full. Exactly. <laughs> oh, <There we> are. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Cheers. Cheers. All right, that actually looks so good. I think I'm going to go for one of those. Hi, Tony. 
Hi, can I get one of those uh, pineapple chicken sandwiches? Okay, yeah. Okay. yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, so definitely got to pace myself. So we've got two dishes so far. The uh, barbecue chicken tiki and the pineapple bun crispy chicken sandwich. And I think one of the issues that you tend to lose people but I found someone here. I see Isabella. What's that? Yeah. It's a chutney. How is it? Sour? Okay. This is a fried chicken sandwich on a pineapple bun with cheese. All right, and I see friend James's uh, ice cream curls are coming up. Dish number three. So I can't wait to try the chicken tiki skewers, but I think there's a more time sensitive item on the table. Oh, look at that, all melty, but still the layers of curl. Mmm. Nice and creamy, layers of ice cream and layers of the tart, sweet strawberry. Really nice and much needed in this hot day. Mm. We gotta try the pineapple chicken sandwich. Who wants to try this with me? Look at this. Alright, look at the size of the chicken sandwich. Let's give it a taste. It's gonna be big. Mmm. Very good. Nice and crispy. And the nice coleslaw makes it nice and creamy. Cuts the crunchiness. And the nice sablé on top. Mmm. Really crunchy. Lots of texture. Really good. And uh, I see Isabella come in. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It jiggles. Alright. Let's dig in. Oh boy. Cheers! Mmm! That is really good. So refreshing. Not very sweet. Nice flavorful ice and the jelly is uh, quite refreshing. Really good. Mm. So this is really nice. Lots of food. The sun is setting and the night market is really becoming a night market as, as they say. It's nice after a nice uh, bunch of food to walk around and take a look at uh, all the shops around here. And let's see if we can find some interesting things here. Oh, tattoos. All right, and I see a store that uh, hopefully they're only around this year and I hope we don't see them again next year. Face masks, you got your assorted colors, purple, green, orange, green again. So unfortunately, we couldn't find Christine's bug zapper. So the only thing to do is uh, visit the food stalls. And I think this time, let's go for dessert. All right, hi, how are you? Oh, very good, this looks amazing. Shanghai fried noodles, and then dumplings, xiao mai. Oh, fish ball, very nice, sorry. Oh, super spicy, all right, thank you. Oh, hey James, what are you going to get? The uh, chocolate banana. Alright, so it's getting pretty busy here. But uh, I see something that looks really good on a hot summer night. And I think that is the uh, Ai Tofu stand right up ahead. Hi Bella, how are you? Good. Oh, I remember your tofu desserts are so good. Do you make it in-house? Yes. All right. Uh, can I order one? Sure. Oh, so many choices, I can't really decide. Terrence, what's your favorite? My favorite is mango. Mango, I think so. So I think we'll go for one of the mango.
All right, so we've got our table. Let me show you what we have. So we've got the waffle made of uh, croissants, yep. and then uh, the nice tofu pudding from uh, Bella. So we've got three spoons, three people, let's dig in. Oh, look at all that mango. And that wonderful pudding. Okay, cheers. Mmm. That tofu pudding is so light. It's just like a cloud that just slurps down effortlessly. Oh, and the mango is so fresh. Really good. Alright. Mmm. Very good. What do you think? Did Bella do a good job? Very light and tasty. Yeah. Pretty good. So this is the night market. Uh, so thank you so much for joining. Uh, lots of good food. Kind of nice visiting the Eat Street with friends. And luckily we had friends to follow. So again, uh, I know we can't visit uh, in person, but uh, hopefully we can someday. So thank you so much. And uh, until we see each other again, uh, stay well and uh, keep safe. Bye-bye.